New York City's mayor-elect today praised his spokeswoman, despite the fact that the New York Post revealed she's living with her former boss, ex-governor Elliot Spitzer. Joining us on to talk more about Bill de Blasio's stance is our political analyst, New York Post state editor, Fred Dicker. Fred, one of those stories where <laughs> politics and gossip meet. <laughs> Quite a sure story. Is the case, Liz. It's an amazing story. I mean, look, this is not just anybody that uh, the spokeswoman for Bill de Blasio is having an affair with. This is the former governor of New York who resigned in disgrace because of his involvement with prostitutes. This is a married man with three young daughters. I mean, they're probably now in their late teens or early 20s. Nevertheless, he's a married man responsible for three daughters getting caught up with a 31-year-old year woman caught in photographs in her apartment or going into her apartment and then leaving it. I would think Bill de Blasio maybe should have thought about this a little bit more seriously. One of the things we're lacking in this state, and we saw it the other day with this assemblyman from Buffalo, Liz, is that we don't seem to have people who have any kind of sense of shame anymore and their obligation as public figures to provide some form of role model in their lives. This is a very serious situation in New York City. It once again holds New York up to ridicule across the nation because Elliot Spitzer is not any just average person in New York City. He's a former governor who almost became New York City controller. How did, okay, so I guess this is devil's advocate, I'm not sure, but how does that sure. affect de Blasio? I mean, well, how does he, his relationship <laughs> with, with her affect him? Yeah. Well, I think she's a representative of the new mayor-elect, soon to be mayor in a few days. He could simply say, this is not appropriate behavior for someone who's part of my administration or might like to be part of it. This is a married man. We respect that. And I'm telling my aide that she should avoid this kind of appearance because it's not just about her. It's about me as the soon-to-be new mayor of New York City. I don't think very many people would disagree with that. When you work for someone of stature in public life, you yourself have an obligation to, to lead something of an exemplary life yourself. And you, and you don't think that there's uh, any uh, saving grace in this and the fact that it, it was pretty well known that he and Silder were living apart, he and Spitzer well, and I, Silder? Yeah, I think that helps explain it, but they're not separated legally. They've not admitted publicly that they were living apart. I think this is going to accelerate things, there's no question about it. But from a big picture point of view, whether it's Governor Cuomo or Mayor-elect de Blasio, it's not good for New York to have this out there once again. Elliot Spitzer, a guy who disgraced his office and with his involvement with prostitutes, then tried to recover, claiming he wasn't going to be involved in anything disgraceful again. Now he gets caught up in something that he could have avoided, and she could have avoided it. It's just more embarrassment for New York State and New York City, in my view. All right. Interesting points there. And uh, de Blasio's on the record saying no big deal. Well, that's what he says today. We'll see what he says over the next few days. He's new at the game. Many people consider him to be an amateur, Liz. Many people think he's going to think... fail as mayor of New York City. Uh, so was... it's going to be very interesting to watch. And just very quickly, do you think most people share your, your view of this? About the affair yeah. itself? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, my guess would be yes, that in, in my view being that this should have been avoided for people in public life, I don't think too many people would argue with that. All right. Very good. Thank you, Fred. Okay. Fred's on the radio, live from the state capitol weekday mornings, 10 to 11 on Talk 1300 AM.